Welcome to State of Tech. Here's an iPhone 6 Plus tip for you. I'm going to show you how to use the quick type or predictive keyboard. So if I were to come into a message and let's just go ahead and enter into another message I was having. If I start typing, notice right above the keyboard, I see the words I, the, and I'm. That's kind of the quick type predictiveness of Apple's keyboard. And what I can do is actually tap on those words and it's actually going to fill it in on the keyboard. So see that I'm kind of making a funny little sentence right now, but it really comes in handy if I was to start typing. Let's just say I want to type the word afflicted. Notice as I was typing, it predicted that, and I can tap on it and actually enter that into the keyboard. So this can make texting quite a bit easier and a quite a little bit more fun. And sometimes if you just want to have fun with it, you can make a random sentence just using the predictive quick type. But if that's not a function that you really like, you can disable it if you want to. Come into your settings. We're going to come into general. We're going to come down to keyboard. And notice down in the bottom of the screen, we have predictive. If I turn that off and I now come back into the message I was composing, you're no longer going to see that predictive text. It's the keyboard that we've seen in a bunch of older iPhones that were running previous versions of the software. But I think the predictive quick type keyboard is very helpful and very useful. And so I'm going to leave that enabled just by coming back into the settings in that same menu and then turning predictive back on. And then I can come back into my message and I'll see the predictive keyboard back up there at the top of the screen. So that is how you use the predictive quick type keyboard on your iPhone. For more iPhone tips, be sure and visit stateoftech.net.